Hi, this is Jeff. Welcome to my short video on tropical fish diseases. This is for tropical fish in a tank or an aquarium. Oops. Um, common fishy illnesses and ailments. Probably one of the most common questions I get asked is, what's wrong with my fish? Well, it's a little hard to diagnose without actually seeing the fish itself, but there's some common ailments you should be familiar with and you should be able to identify when something is really wrong. First off, you need to have a fishy first aid kit handy. Yes, you can have a first aid kit for your fish. My advice is to get one set up before something goes wrong. A water quality test kit, a pH, ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. Aquarium salt, this is not table salt. Most table salts contain additives to keep them from clumping up. Kosher or rock salt is okay. Malachite green or formalin itch remedy methylene blue, chlorine bleach for disinfection, maybe one antibiotic, uh, kinamycin or furanase, an antibiotic containing food for fish, and a copper remedy for parasites. And for fish big enough to handle, Q-tips and malachite green or mucurcum. Okay, now that you have all those emergency items on hand, there are a few basics to watch out for that are indications your fish may be in trouble. Most important, watch your fish and know what their normal behavior and appearance is. If you don't, want that, if you don't know what normal is, you can't possibly know what sick looks like, of course. Okay, clamped fins are fins held abnormally close to the body. The fish refuses its usual food for more than two days. There are visible spots, lesions, or white patches on the fish, and the fish gasps at the surface of the water, or the fish floats, sinks, whirls, or swims sideways. The fish might shimmy, move from side to side without going forward. A normally active fish is just kind of sitting still. A normally still fish is very active. The fish suddenly bloats up, and it's not due to eggs or the young and the fish is scratching against the tank decorations all things that are not normal okay symptoms would be that the fish looks like they have little white salt grains on them and may scratch against objects in the tank a uh, white spot disease is caused by a tiny organism that starts with one fish falls off and attaches itself to the tank glass or gravel then grabs onto another fish and spreads to the entire tank To treat it, you must treat the entire tank. Medicine must be added to the tank to kill the parasites, but be careful. If it's a reef tank, invertebrates are very sensitive to reef medication, so really the only alternative is to remove the fish to a quarantine tank. Now, some people think that itch is probably dormant in most tanks and probably triggered by temperature fluctuations. The remedy for most fish is medication with formalin and malachite green. These are the active ingredients in many itch magic medications at fish shops. Some commercial products are Cordon's Rid Itch and Aquarium Products Quick Cure. Use these products as directed, usually a daily dose until all the fish are spot free. Then dose every three days for a total of four more doses. Fin rot is where fish's fins turn whitish and die back. Fin rot often follows damage or injury. It can also be caused by poor water quality. The remedy is first fix the water and remove any aggressive species that are biting your other fish. Change about 25% of the tank water and add one teaspoon per gallon of salt to promote healing. Healing should begin within a couple of days. If it worsens, it could be fungal or bacterial. Fungal fin rot looks like clumps of cotton on the fins and usually follows an injury. Treatment for fungus, for large fish enough to handle, catch the fish, dab the malachite green directly on the fungus with a Q-tip. This is extremely effective. Repeat the treat treatments um, as necessary. For small fish, try commercial products such as Meroxy. For severe infestations, try a bath in methylene blue, enough so you can barely see the fish until the fungus turns blue, or for about 20 minutes. 
don't add methylene blue directly to the tank or you'll kill your plants and ruin the biological filter. Bacterial fin rot is whitish but not cottony and can be contagious. The fish then need to be removed from the tank and medicated. Treatment for bacterial infection is to remove the fish to a quarantine tank and treat it with antibiotics. This is stressful for the fish and doesn't always work, so be sure what you're doing before you try this. If the fish is still eating, try an antibiotic food. If the fish is not eating, a bath treatment is definitely necessary. A combination of canamycin and furanase usually works, especially for columnaris. So remove to a separate tank and aerate heavily. Other diseases and ailments dropsy, head and lateral line erosion, uh, swim bladder disorders, large external parasites, and velvet. So I hope this was helpful to you. I want to offer you something which is um, a free fish compatibility guide. If you just click on the link below this video it's going to take you to the Tropical Fish Tanks blog. Just look for this picture on the blog, it's over on the right hand side of the blog, just click on that, it'll take you to the page where you can download this and you'll also find more information about diseases and how to cure them and more great info about your fish tank at tropicalfishtanksblog.com. Thanks for watching.